Hello guys, and welcome back to another Show on the Buffalo video. Hope we've all been keeping well. Now, I did mention in my last video that I will be covering the Roxy Cassidy deck, or the Cat Dog deck, and this is what we have here. So, it's all revolved around spreading damage using Roxy to combo with the Coughing and Wheezing from the Cosmic Eclipse set to hopefully spread a bunch of damage counters all across your opponent's board and then using Esper to take knockouts for free and I say for free because he has his first attack called Cat Day and then we have a Persian line in the deck that says gather no cats the attack costs of all Pokemon in play that have the Cat, the cat Day da deck you ignore the energy costs so you attack for free and you use spell tags as well on your psychic Pokemon to put more damage, damage counters around the board and things. And when there's something that you want to knock out that's in the active, you use the Fion from Cosmic Eclipse to push that active Pokemon to the bench and then knock it out with Esper. Um, the one card that is a problem to this deck is when your opponent has their own Mew because it means that you can't use Esper's attack for that. But obviously with enough Roxy's you get through a Mew anyway. Um, we have early game draws, draw support with Zash and V and Dedene. Never really want both in play. But I think two Zacians is also too much as well. Um, considering we play Evelyn for retreat. So Evelyn allows Dedene to retreat for free. Whereas it puts Zacian's retreat cost to 2-3 and therefore we can't retreat. Uh, the way we've solved that issue is we play one copy of Tatanlyzer because uh, because we have a pal pad in the deck it means that we can switch effectively or hopefully multiple times if we ever get stuck in the active. Um, but everything's pretty basic in this deck. It's a really budget deck so it's easy to build in real life as well. Should be pretty much easy to build on PTCGO uh, as this is the only card that realistically costs anything. And so we are going to go straight into our games. So let's uh, go into a game with CatDog. I had some uh, practice matches since I've not, used, I've not used this deck before. So hopefully it was enough practice to get me anywhere up the ladder. This is a deck that I don't mind going first in. I prefer to go second usually with stage one decks just to get some more draw power into my into my deck. But this isn't a bad opening hand to be fair. I mean, I would have, uh, enjoyed something much better. It's frustrating that he's got that up, so it means that at some point Mazashi and V is going to go down. Good to see gone. Don't know why I didn't use that reset stamp. Not that my hand's looking any good, but we'll see.
gonna really, really have to find myself a Roxy off this top deck or a, at least a poker gear. Cause this hand's looking awful. It's probably gonna grab at the drone here. Depending in hand. He plays two reset stamps. It's not too bad, my hand was awful to be honest. I just realised uh, the sound's on. Sorry about that. Um, right, so if we can get a Roxy, we do not. At least we got a little bit of mileage out of Sashian, and there's no way he's going to play free re reset stamps. creation right so I do finally get a Roxy this is probably the deck's worst matchup get rid of the two reasons spread 120 dam damage onto my opponent's board I think maybe this deck would need um, Oh, I was thinking of Tapu Lele, but counter gain wouldn't really make any difference, I don't think. Um, so, we'll go... Sinji now. Uh, pop this into the deck. next turn at the very least. I just feel like I'm going to have to spend a long time putting up dolls and such. This is going to take free prices off this. Another metal MG or even the water. I think this list was uh, Pablo Mesa's list. Particularly needs a fear of fear. Uh, it's just disgusting how that gets free prize cards. I am 
not going to be using this at all. <coughs> What's the... Um, so, we'll grab Asper. We will attempt. I don't think we need to yet, actually. I'll just use these. Fit through the deck. This way, because of the sequence in, it means that I have a higher likelihood at some point to draw into another Roxy. Well, I was really looking for another um, Lily's Polka Doll there, but we didn't get one, unfortunately. It's going to be a long time till we get a knockout. Um, so I'll put this here. I'll uh, make do this meowth. Don't need it now. There we go. This is just to prevent or attempt to prevent a VM whenever one of his Pokemon go down. gonna have to play play through these poker dolls for a while because I just need as much stuff uh, m sorry as much uh, damage on board as possible before I start making a move I need 90 damage on this minimum No, we need a hundred damage on that, sorry. We can only hope two of his custom catch surprised. If there's something that put items back into the deck, this deck would be broke. Well, Lily's Poker Doll would be pond, probably.
playing off one of these retreat into it and pass I know it seems like a ridiculously slow game, I know it's the unfortunate thing. I can't really do much more about it apart from stall him out for a little bit. get two prizes before I start swinging. And did we get another Lily's Poker Doll? We did not. So I think at this point to make him start needing to use his switches and such. set stamps. So we have no fear of losing our hand size. Now basically the idea is next turn uh, Roxy again and if this ends up in the active push it out the active take knockout on that. I was afraid of because now he's going to be able to uh, profess his research because he's going to he's going to put a um, a custom catcher back on top of his deck. If he gets custom catcher, no. Uh, so we are in the runnings to win. Stick this active. So we'll go. Play ball. Average. Uh, Roxy. These two. damage on this as well, which now means I can take a knockout on this with Vesper because there's no big charm on it. So, I'll put this down. Very nearly misplayed. <laughs> is just put this back, get this for next turn, um, ordinary rod, put, uh, what do I have the best chance to get a wheeze in? doesn't really matter either way. I think I'll just get one of each because I've got ounce to get one each of both.
and then yeah because uh, he only takes two prizes off this which means he's got to find his custom catches which at this point doesn't matter I don't think he needs a Marnie maybe if he runs Marnie But now I've unlocked me over Persian from the prize as well. I think he's putting a Marnie on top of his deck and he'll do Danny into it. I think it's the right plan if he plays Marnie. So yeah, he's hoping to get me stuck. And I think I'll take the pick on the Zation. I'll pick on it. <laughs> and um, yeah, and that's a that's a a win against the biggest tier one deck in the format. ADPZ. I think he might have gotten lucky with his prize cards, but that's all there is to it, realistically. And yeah, we'll just knock out the big bad wolf. That's game. Too late to send that. And that is how you beat ADZP. So we're going to make this one the last one of the video, guys. Hope you've been enjoying it so far. How unlucky can we get? So, we'll put one of these away, get this out. Thank God. And the Zashian's not in the deck. Ah, brilliant. All is well. All is well. Um... I think we're playing again. I think we're playing a mirror match, if I'm honest. So we'll see how lucky he gets with his Roxy. Oh, we're playing a mill deck. This should be interesting. certain that um, he was going to start. I'm going to force him to evolve his ditto I think is the best thing to do. So we'll get this. And yeah because it's a mill deck we really are not going to need Um, spell tags in this match. I 
but we will need to keep all to the Lily's Poker Dolls. Um, so, yeah. Ah, oh, doesn't need a knockout. Guess we're not forcing them, so, uh, would have been better to just knock out the Desso. But I suppose this also means that he can't use Lieutenant Surge's strategy yet. Which is good. I think I'm gonna put multiple things in multiple in in range. That's probably the best thing to do. I'll keep the blues. Um coffin, yeah. And communication I think. It sucks that I don't have my own Sashian. This should be a winnable matchup. That's gonna make things annoying. Wonder how many of those he plays. Uh, so we'll get rid of the Esper here. I think we might just set up a little bit more with. Chino, maybe. Yeah. That's quite a frustrating card to get through. Um, so, yeah. Don't need the spell tags. I can always put them back with. Um, Lana's Fishing Rod. decks being everyone's least favourite deck to play against. I wonder who Team Nightshade are. I wonder if they're a YouTube channel as well. Guess we'll have to find out. I wonder if it's got rid of any more rods or anything yet. One rod down. That's somewhat annoying. Hmm. <coughs> I need to keep the one up air balloon. Um, I think Poker Gear is the primary candidate for this. Go and we'll put back the Esper. Get um, so the coffin. Yeah, seems to be lacking in reasons for some reason. I do finally get my own Sassian. I think I'm going to wait to use Pal Pad. I will use this. Oh. Well, that's somewhat frustrating. I 
I didn't realise that does that. <laughs> this. You may have your opponent switch. Why does that stop this? I think that might be a bug that's been exploited. Because that shouldn't work, surely. Um... So, we'll get a bit more of his draw out of the way. Very, very filthy that is. <laughs> now, I need my Meow Stick. I don't know if it's in the deck, but I can check with this, just so I can kill this. That is uh, very, very frustrating. I'm lucky I got that 20, uh, 20 damage on it, well, Master Clud. Who is this guy of all the Sword and Shield promos? <laughs> This where we see double Belalba. No. Well, there will be a Belalba. I'm hoping the Mewtwo or the my car goes prized. This is the match we can win, guys. There's the meow stick, at least. Let's see if it's just a bug. Yeah, okay. Um, so we'll do this. Give away some of not in the deck. Because of that, I think I'm only going to do one of these. And I don't know what's in my deck. I shouldn't have done that actually, but what's done is done. Get this out. I'm glad I've got the power pad in hand. Kill this thing. There's one more thing to get some resources back into my deck. So. This turn it needs double Blalba and the Mewtwo. That one Stealthy Horde really like saved his soul basically. Uh, 
Um, so, to prevent myself from decking out the best option I've got is going for this. And then put these down. Flip them all back into the deck. Session. Get this again. Just put the same thing. Um, I sequence this really badly. I should have done this first, get my two reasons back. Let's see what we can draw. Oh, no, because we need boxy as well. Both of them. I've done it so bad, I should have pal pod the Roxy's first. Now I'm not going to draw a Roxy, just watch. Uh, and I've done that wrong as well, I should have evolution incensed. Ah, so bad. So bad at this game. suck so bad. But with any luck, uh, we might be able to uh, win next turn, because unless he gets a, a stealthy hood on that Aranguru, we do take knockout on that, and I think there's Asian as well, I'm not too sure. I don't know how many dollars in all the two. So yeah, this is ah, this is why he's got the stock up now, yeah, because he needs it. Um so Just the sequencing and stuff. I don't think we can win. There's absolutely no chance, I don't think. But we'll do this. Grab that. Yeah, we've only got five cards in deck. So we need to get my dolls. Let's 
ne? Ja. Can't get around this thing. Oh yeah, I can. So, what don't I want in to mill? Yeah, we want these on the top first. So, let's do this right. Change this. Flip it back into the deck. Get this down. Get this down. Flip that back into the deck. Ah, I did it wrong. <laughs> this deck is so hard. Um, let's go for this. Well, can't say that we weren't close. But yeah, that Mew really saved him. Because I really needed to get rid of one of his... One of those this turn, so we can't... Um... Lieutenant Surge... Double Blabber... Yeah, this will probably do it. If he's got double blob burn on then. Or if he's even got any blob burn. Because he's probably got a Sempre and Caitlyn on hand. Unless he's misplayed. And then. Let's see. I think. Yeah. He's just slow rolling us. What a terrible person. <sighs> well, I'm not going to be uh, recording any other matches that I play against Mill, I promise. That was a painful experience to watch. Um, and for as good as this deck is, it did reasonably well against, um, against that deck. I was a little bit slow in finding certain things and whatnot. So it was a little bit difficult. But anyway, um, so I'll just bring up the list again. That's our friend sends me a Rosa, because tomorrow I am going to be... Well, not tomorrow. I think the day after tomorrow, because this video is going to take a while to upload. I'm going to be covering the Obstagoon deck, so if anyone's interested in that, then uh, come revisit the channel. And... Well, before you leave this video, if you could drop a like on it and subscribe, that'd be absolutely brilliant as well. And that is the list for this deck. And to be fair, it performs really well against most meta decks. The only thing that I'd change that I'm not too happy about is the Dedene. And I don't know what I'd put in its place. Something to help a little bit more against Mill. Maybe another Ordinary Rod, I think. Uh, that's about my idea many opinion on this deck but anyway yeah so thank you all for watching guys again if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel it'd be brilliant and we'll see you here on the next video of obstacles and instruct obstructing people peace guys